Hello everybody, this is Craig from Team New Tier and I'm presenting Ruth Hazlett with her uh, Cosmo deck. Ruth, uh, what place did you get in the LDS? Hi, so guys, I came 8th in the LDS today in Port Rush and I ran my Cosmo deck. So it's pretty standard for Cosmo. It starts off with 3 Farm Girl, 3 Good Witch, 3 Slip Rider, 3 Forerunner, and uh, for those Cosmos, how, how did those, those numbers go for you? So I actually found them really good. Um, I know a lot of people think that, you know, the big ones, Slip Rider and Forerunner, do clog a lot, but I find them really good. Farm Girl, I actually seen way too often in my hand. I find a lot of the times that it was clogging and I was shuffling it back with Cosmo Town. Um, the only thing maybe that I would change with the monster lineup was maybe put Slip Rider to two. I would definitely keep four on at three. It was really good against Ba, but then Slip Rider is really good for the clay matchups. That's great, thank you. Please, please continue. So for the rest of the monsters, we have two Honest. Um, Honest is self-explanatory. She is really good combo with Farm Girl, and I find her really good in a lot of the matchups. We have two Max C. We have one Thunder King. Max C is good basically against everything. I know a lot of decks like three, but I prefer two because I find three far too cloggy. And Thunder King just wins games, especially against Necros and Clay. So we have three Cosmo Time. Um, this is definitely one of the most busted cards in the deck, and it definitely wins games. When you open a handful of like Slip Riders or Forerunners and open this card, it's just a great way at recycling. So there's three Emergency Teleport. Again, really good card with Farm Girl. Um, I didn't actually remember until this weekend that you could also use it from hand, so it's really good if you open Italian Farm Girl, especially if you open more than one Farm Girl in hand. Three Upstart, two Dark Hole, and one Regeki. Um, Dark Hole and Regeki, again, it's self-explanatory. It's so good at clearing the board. Um, three Upstart, I hadn't originally been playing these at all. I put them in at the last minute, about 10 hours before the tournament. Um, I took out two Mind Crush and a Terraforman and I found these really good. The only difference I might make is I would possibly put back in the one Terraforman as I really missed it. That's great Ruth. No bother. So one Book of Moon is the last spell card. So onto the traps. We have three Mirror Force. Three Mirror Force. I absolutely love this card. I know everyone thinks it's cloggy but I absolutely love it. It was one of the best cards. It won so many games because... People see two go and think, that's it, that's the Mirror Force gone, and then you hit them with the third. Mm. Two mistake. You're meaning mistake in Cosmo. I'm meaning mistake in Cosmo. I know it sometimes can hurt a wee bit with the farm girl, but if you can get one farm girl off before the mistake, it's perfectly fine. And it actually won me games on Saturday, um, especially against, I was playing Clay first round, and it was really helpful against it, and it's absolutely amazing against Necros. And it and Thunder King together just makes it really hard for your opponent. Then two Fiendish Chain, and um, I think that's all I would play. One Vanity's Emptiness. Then the last two cards is a Bottomless. Again, brilliant card, especially against Dolls and against the likes of Play. And then the last card is Torrential Tribute, and it just allows great combos with the likes of Forerunner and Slip Rider. All right, so is that 40 cards then in your main deck? That is 40 cards in my main deck. Any changes you would make for, for, for a future tournament? The one change I would make is I would like to put in another Terraforming. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what I would drop for. Maybe drop a Mirror Force, or I'm not sure yet, but I would like to make mm. one more Terraforming. Great. Uh, let's move on to the extra deck adventure. Okay, so I think I used my extra deck once. In oh, Friday yeah, on Saturday. yeah. So, um, ah, sure, we'll go through it quick. We had one Draco Sack, one Red Eyes Flare Metal, one Gaia, the Thunder Charger, Vulcasaurus, the only card my extra deck went into mm -hmm. in the entire day. Um, absolutely love this card. It's, mm. I think, one of the best cards. It's very good card, very good card. One Pleiades, one Exiton, one Heartland Draco, one Silent Honor Arc, one Castell, one Abyss Dweller, one Gagaga Cowboy. One Diamond Direwolf, one Steel Swarm Roach, one Alucard, and one Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. So the Chimera Tech's in there because it combos with my side deck. Great. And with your side deck, let's move, let's move on to your side deck then, please, Ruth. So we have two Cyber Dragon. Um, I cited these here 
for the mirror and for against clay didn't get to see them all weekend but i would still definitely keep them in we have two fancy um, again these were for the teller matchups um, and standard rank 4 decks unfortunately i didn't get to use them two reality retaliate and see um, i did decide this quite a bit on saturday but i actually didn't find the card as good as what i thought it was originally it's decent but i think it's a wee bit overhyped two d fusion in case of shadows two shared ride um, i think the only, this would probably be the only change i would make I like the shared rides, but I may change them for mistaken arrests. Though I did find the draws of the shared rides really helpful during some of my games. Two MST. Two Black Corner Heaven. Um, Black Corner of Heaven? Yeah, this was probably one of my favourite side deck cards of the day. Because mm. there's a lot of decks, don't expect it. It's really good against tellers. It worked amazing against clay and just anything that sort of exceeds. And I actually found it really good too against Infernoids. It really helped a lot against that matchup. And then one chaos trapple. Um I didn't find you for the entire day and I think I'd definitely take it out. Great. Thank you very much, Riff. Uh, any closing words you would like to make? Um no, that's everything. Great. Thank you, Riff. Bye bye.